to life. But ultimately, all Israel will be saved, you know, and brought into the kingdom and into the fold, ultimately. But right now, the Lord is only dealing with a certain elect, and that's it. So let me go and read this, get to the meat of this thing. So this is 2 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 1. It says, would to God you could bear with me a little in my folly, and indeed, bear with me. For I am jealous over you with godly jealousy. For I have espoused you to one husband, that I may present you as a chaste virgin to my siyat. But I fear lest by any means as the serpent beguile Eve through his subtlety, so your mind should be corrupted from the simplicity that is in Masiyah. For it is he that cometh, or oh, select you, for if he that cometh preacheth another Jesus, whom we have not preached, or if you receive another spirit which we have not received, or another gospel, quote unquote doctrine which ye have not accepted, ye might work well bear with him. So, this is going, when you go into these other doctrines, you're really going into you preaching another Yahweh shot. You preaching just like you look at IUIC and Nate. He's preaching God and Jesus Christ. That's another Jesus. You look at Bubble Eye, G-O-C-C, -C, they talking about a higher by some Yeshaya. See, that's another Jesus or another Yahweh Shai, however you want to, that's not Yahweh Shai. But there's doctrines tied to that. So you can't change the doctrine and then talk about all praises to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai and then you're not preaching the truth. You come in with subtlety, teaching another Jesus. That's hella subtile because you letting Satan, who came with, subtil with subtlety, supplant what you have already learned and pervert the true doctrine. And now you are teaching that amongst men. Preaching love and, and, and unity that doesn't exist. There's unity in the body. But the Lord said he coming to bring the vision. In this world, it's not going to be unity. Like I say, you got one man preaching God and Jesus Christ, another man preaching Ahayu Basham and Shia. You got one man believing that uh, Cornelius is an Edomite. You got another another man believing that, you know, Mary came through a virgin birth. That's separation. For you to bring that together, that's, that would be black Babylonianism. That would be black confusion. So again, you you coming with that subtlety, you you calling on Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, but then you're not teaching what you learned under Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai when you came into this truth. When you came into this truth, you you learned a certain doctrine that came with that name, and now for you to pervert that doctrine. You're really preaching another Jesus, even though you come in, you, you saying the name. But we all know how that go. We know how that go. Either you repent, or the Most High gonna eventually take that name from you. I've seen it too many times. You gonna either repent, come back to what you had learned. Or the most high just gonna completely take all what you had learned from you, beginning with the name. So that's 
that's good on that. Now concerning <coughs> concerning all this Black Lives Matter and stuff, you know, <laughs> certain certain cats trying to incorporate that that really that vibe, that spirit of Black Lives Matter into this troop. And really saying, can can we all just get along? Well, I'll get along once you how by show me how we shall establish his his will in the earth. And, and vanquish his time. enemies. Then we can all get along. But to then, you know, we're not gonna all get along. There's too much wickedness in the world for anybody to come together. Judgment must come first. Judgment has to come for there to be unity in the world. The Heavenly Father has to set his only begotten Son up as supreme ruler of the universe for there to be peace and unity. Until then, you're going to see what you're going to see. And, uh, let me, let me read this out. chapter 10, verse 34. Think not that I am come to send peace on earth. I am come not to send peace, but a sword. What's all this peace? Unity. What's all that about? The Lord saying, this is the Lord speaking. Again, Matthew, chapter 10, verse 34. Matter of fact, Get 32. Matthew chapter 10 verse 32. Whosoever therefore shall confess me before men, him will I confess also before my Father which is in heaven. So how do you confess the Lord before men? The name is, is you know, first and foremost, that name. <clears throat> but then, as I said, with that name comes the doctrine. So you have to teach the doctrine of truth. That's how you confess it, how we find how shot for men. You got to preach his truth. You have to teach men the truth of these scriptures. That's confessing him before men. Not just the name. The name is just a part of it. The doctrine goes along with the name. So that's why I want to go back up and get that. Again, Matthew. Chapter 10, verse 32. Whosoever therefore shall confess me before men, him will I confess also before my Father which is in heaven. So that's the same thing as like when, uh, you know, people say they believe on the Lord. Oh, I, I believe the Lord. Okay, well, if you believe on the Lord, then you would do the things that he commanded you to do. Belief ain't just saying, oh, I believe the Lord. You show your belief through your actions. Just like love, you show love by doing, not by saying. And people want to just, you know, say things and, and speak on things without having any actions tied to them. The Lord said you will know a tree by its fruits. So you will know a, one of the Lord's disciples by his actions. Not by word, you know, uh, not by vain words. And that's the same with confessing the Lord before me. You can, you, can, you can call the pain all day long. But then if you out here living foul, wild and not, doing whatever you want to do out here in the world, you're not keeping the law, statutes, and commandments to the best of your ability, then you're really being a hypocrite. That's really not representing Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Confessing the Lord is to represent through your actions and come out here and teach men correct the doctrine of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Then are you truly confessing on the Lord? Then you are truly confessing Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. You can't speak about, you know, being men pleasers, you know, that, you know, because we are 
in a great millstone, we have a certain order that we're men pleasers and things of that nature that shoot slugs at brothers that's in this troop, has it in their life, for you how about show me how how shy Satan. And then say all praise to you how about show me how shy. That's not the correct doctrine. You are not you are not confessing you how about show me how shy. You coming out confessing yourself. You confessing your emotions. That's what you confessing. Confessing your emotions. Lord, then set us up and give us the Holy Spirit to come out here and then to confess our emotions. Continue thou in the things that thou hast learned. So again, Matthew chapter 10, verse 32. Whosoever therefore shall confess me before men, him will I confess also before my Father which is in heaven. But whosoever shall deny me before men, him will I also deny before my Father which is in heaven. So you can deny him by, you know, turning your back on this truth. Or you can think you're still in the truth. Be calling on the name, but teaching some way with doctrine. You still denying your Howard Bosch and Yahweh Shah. That's, that's multifold right there. That's multifold. There's more than one way to deny the Lord. So, here it is, verse 34. It says, Think not that I am come to send peace on earth. It's the Lord saying, think not that he's come to send peace on earth. I, come, I came not to send peace, but a sword. For I am come to set a man at variance against his father, and the daughter against her mother, and the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. And a man's foes shall be great of his own household. The Lord has said he's coming to bring, uh, he's not coming to bring peace, he's coming to bring the vision. That's his own words. So we're gonna come together. The doctrine is what's going to unite the elect of the body of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. The doctrine is what unites us. I'm going to do it how you do what you know about that? Right. You know America gonna be destroyed, huh? Yeah. What, you, what do you think about these shootings with the police? Uh, say it again? Say it. Say it, yeah. What do you think can be done about it real quick? What do you think? What's the answer? 